Eight money lessons that I wish I would have learned sooner in my life. If I could go back to my 18 year old self, I'd say, man, you're sexy. And then I'd probably slap myself and tell younger KD that you need to learn these rules about money or else you're gonna have a bad time. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about the eight things that I wish I knew when I was younger and even sexier and even more woke. So we're gonna start with rule number eight and count down all the way to the number one most important rule of money that I wish I knew when I was younger and dumber. Yes, even dumber. Money doesn't make you happy, at least not directly. And what I mean by that is money can buy you experiences and it can buy you freedom and experiences and being able to travel the world and go to whatever restaurants you want and skydive and do the things you wanna do does make you happy, but not the money itself. And money also buys you freedom. Freedom to not worry about bills, freedom to do the things that you wanna do with your time and not have to go to a job that you hate and not have to do anything that you don't wanna do. But understanding that money doesn't make you happier directly and it's not the ultimate purpose in life is something that's very important to understand because you don't want to fall victim to doing what a lot of my friends do, which is your happiness being directly tied to money because I promise you, it's gonna be a bad time. Make more, don't spend less. I see a lot of YouTubers talking about saving every penny and things like that. And while that can be reasonable advice for some people, it's so much easier and such better advice in my life and that I've seen to actually focus on generating more income rather than trying to cut back and be cheap and save every penny at every possible corner of your life. Not only does that make you look cheap and it makes you constantly worry about saving money and saving every penny instead of actually enjoying your life and having fun, but it also takes your focus off the more important part, which is actually creating a business that's smarter, that works while you're sleeping, that you can actually generate more income from so that you don't have to worry about cutting every cost. Now, am I saying that you should be irresponsible? Absolutely not. What I'm saying is you wanna enjoy your life and make enough money to do so and not ever say no to a new experience or a fun opportunity just because you're trying to save a buck. Cash flow is king. And this one took me a long time to actually realize that cash flow is king. And what I mean by that is you can go and you can invest into a million dollar house, but if that house is not actually paying you rent, right, it's probably not worth having and it's probably not worth adding to your portfolio. It took me a long time to realize that cash truly is king. The more cash you have, the more cash you can actually invest into things, the more cash that you can invest into advertising, into more inventory, into buying more properties. But if you don't have assets that are actually cash flowing and putting more money into your bank account that you can spend now, then you cripple yourself for future investments and the effects of compound interest. Don't live in a house you own. And this is actually counterintuitive to a lot of the things that we learned growing up, that you shouldn't waste money on rent and you should buy the house that you live in. But the problem is if you tie up $100,000 or a million dollars in the down payment for a house, that's money that you could have spent elsewhere on assets that actually cash flow. Not only that, there's a lot of expenses that you don't realize when you first buy a house, like property taxes, like maintenance. If things break, you're the one responsible. And when you rent your house, not only do you have peace and freedom of mind, you don't have to pay property taxes, you don't have to pay home ownership fees, and you can actually use the money that you otherwise would have invested into the down payment of a house, a non-cash flowing asset, and take that and invest into multifamily or invest into e-commerce inventory for your products or invest into a digital marketing company or a course or a mentorship or something that you can actually take and turn into more money. Learn how to sell and you'll never be low on money. Selling is one of the most important skills that you can possibly learn as a business person, as an entrepreneur, as anyone. If you can't convince and influence people to actually do the things that you ultimately want them to do, you're never gonna be able to be successful at business. Business is so much about other people and your interactions with them and vendors and suppliers and new customers and clients and your bosses and your employees. And if you don't learn how to effectively communicate and effectively sell not only your products but also your ideas, then you're gonna cripple yourself when it comes to actually generating more money. And if you don't know how to sell, here are a few hacks that I I've learned to actually learn how to sell. 
go out and find the highest converting webinars. If you don't know how to do that, look at the top products on ClickBank. Study how they actually craft their message. Study how they create their copy. Study the videos. How does it convince you to do what you want? And then check out books like Influence by Robert Cialdini, probably the number one best ever book on sales. And last little trick is click some of the Facebook or YouTube ads you probably constantly see if you're watching my videos and check out the sales process of myself and many other successful entrepreneurs when it comes to actually selling products. Taking advantage of the phenomenon called compound interest. Now, Albert Einstein said that compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it earns it and he who doesn't pays it. And what compound interest basically means is whether it's incremental actions, trying to get better, learning more about sales, watching productive YouTube videos, trying to create your own business, those incremental actions are actually forms of compound interest where eventually all of those incremental actions are gonna explode into an exponential return, not only for yourself, but for your business. This also works with money when it comes to investing. If you invested $100 in Bitcoin 10 years ago, that Bitcoin would be worth close to $100 million. Now that's probably the craziest example of all time, but this same phenomenon works with investing in Amazon or Apple stock or even the S&P 500 or Nasdaq. NASDAQ, just leaving your money and investing it and investing and trusting that America is not going to collapse and die, your money would have doubled and tripled over the course of a short number of years on the stock market consistently just by taking advantage of compound interest. Number two, we will get to in just one second, but if you're new here, first of all, do me a favor and tap the like button and subscribe and turn on the notification bells and comment down below what you've learned about money. Is money the most important thing? Does money bring you happiness or is money just another thing? Thing that people overemphasize. Let me know your opinion down below and I'll pick some of my favorite comments and feature you at the end of our next video. Learning the basics about taxes and real estate because everybody knows that you should invest in real estate and all the richest people in the world invest in real estate, but a lot of people don't understand why. And so understanding the basics of how real estate, the right real estate like multifamily can actually give you cash flow, but also gives you a huge amount of tax benefits, right? Because it's very important to understand that even if you earn a lot, but what's more important is keeping that money, minimizing your taxes as much as you legally can and taking advantage of tax strategies like depreciation and real estate and everything that comes along with investing in real estate and generating that stream of cash flow. And the number one money lesson that I wish I would have learned sooner, we will get to in a second, but for those of you who are new here, we actually have two other YouTube channels, more Kevin David, where we go over a bunch of new awesome stuff and also our top 25 in the world podcast for entrepreneurs, the Kevin David experience. Those are down in the description make sure you check those out or just click my name after the video and check them out on our channel page. And so the number one most important rule that I wish I would have learned about money is that money is meant to be spent. Don't let yourself be 80 years old, 90 years old with a million, five million, 10 million, a hundred million dollars in the bank. Trust me when I tell you, everyone dies with nothing and you don't wanna give your kids millions or tens of millions of dollars. All that's gonna do is make them not work hard in their life. That's why all the richest people in the world actually take the giving pledge and give away 99% or more of all of their money because they know that nobody needs that money. And so once you have enough money, you wanna spend it on what actually makes you happy. Maybe that's giving to charity, maybe that's helping animals or people in need, maybe that's reinvesting into your business to build more, but only you know what makes you happy, but I promise you that saving all of your money arbitrarily for your whole life, never spending it, never indulging, never enjoying yourself just so you can save an extra penny or an extra buck, that's not gonna make anyone happy. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, subscribe, turn on the notification bells, and comment down below, is money the most important thing? I wanna hear your guys' thoughts. I respond to all the comments myself. And if you wanna check out more videos just like this, we have a brand new playlist coming to you live in three, two, one. Click the playlist in the middle of the screen, guys. See you there. Click it. Come on, click it. Do it, click the playlist. Okay, you don't have to, but I promise you'll like it. Click the playlist, see you soon, peace.